Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. In today's video I would like to talk to you about things to consider before starting a diet. And before anything, or before we get into it deeper, I would just like to put it out there that I am not a dietitian, I am not a doctor, I am just sharing my experience and my research with you. The first thing I would like to talk about is know that extreme dieting can affect your mental health. Research and very large evidence has proven that dieting is just as important to your mental health as it is to your physical health. Healthy diet is protective and unhealthy diet is a risk factor for depression and anxiety. Nutritional diet is not only beneficial for your body but also for your brain. Some scientists even consider that diet is the most powerful tool and intervention to people's mental health. It reaches so far that it can even decrease psychiatric disorders. I have mentioned previously in one of my videos about things affected by keto diet specifically. For example, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, um, epilepsy and other seizure conditions all goes down a lot to the diet. Of course, it's not only for curing diseases, it's generally for your men mental health and well-being. So controlled diet and diet that has been um, worked out specifically for you will have the best impact and the best results on your mental and physical health. So I suggest that you do consult your doctor, physician, um, dietitian, nutritionist. Go have a consultation and work out what is the best for you. Diet as such does not have to be only for weight loss. It has to become your lifestyle to improve your, your overall health, your mental health, and increase your life's quality as such. Before you start any diet, consider making lifestyle changes rather than just cutting down on your calorie intake or choose specific, won't name any diet, but choose any specific diet. If you want to lose weight and also keep it down, you need to think about many things. Everyone is always talking about yo-yo dieting, about this and that diet all being just useless, the weight coming back after some time. But think about what you have been doing before you started diet and are you not making the same mistakes that you used to make in the past? Are you not making them now? After you stopped your diet? Is this not your yo-yo reason? Because as soon as you lose weight with a particular diet and you stop it, returning back to your old habits, your weight will slowly but surely come back. I have tried quite a few diets in my life. Some work better, some not so well. But as soon as I went off them and went to my old habits, the weight gain began. And of course, why wouldn't it? In the evening, watching TV, snacking on one or two packs of crisps, drinking soda, having a bar of chocolate, maybe having some popcorn. All those things we don't even think about, but it does affect. This is something that most of us we do, and it doesn't seem like it's a lot because it's just a snack. But at the end of the day, you have been eating your meals throughout the day possibly snacking as well and then now you're having some evening snacks thinking that it's not a big deal but it is a big deal why don't you snack on some healthy things like nuts for example and again make sure you do not overeat them it is just so easy to go over your 2000 calorie recommended intake of course there are so many people that are having healthy and really fast metabolism but Unfortunately, for example, myself, I'm not one of those lucky ones. And if you are, let's say, stay-at-home mom or mom on maternity leave or a pensioner or someone who is doing a sitting job, you need to consider all those things. You will not be able to use these calories that you have gained by taking so many snacks. Therefore, all the unhealthy treats will be stored in your body as a fat. So. Make your plan and do the best to stick with it. 
So when you do decide um, to go on a diet, you need to think and consider things like, will this be something that I can follow a long term? Will this be something that will help me and it won't be too hard for me? Am I ready to put myself out there and do sports and activities? And don't forget to find out about things uh, like how to maintain your weight once you have reached your goal of weight loss. If you have followed a particular diet to lose weight, it not necessarily will be the same diet that you will use for maintaining your weight. Or it could be the one, but instead of having decreased amount of calorie intake, you will have it maintained and or have it as your suggested or any adult suggested 2000 calorie intake a day. But again, to make sure that you do not exceed it or if you do exceed it, you're able to do sports or activities to burn them. Include exercise in your lifestyle. Believe me, your body will later thank you for doing it. There are so, so many benefits of exercising. You can lose weight, you can tone your body, you can improve your mental health, you can improve your all over general health. So it is very important to make a workout plan, for example. And don't forget to make your heart stronger and also release the happiness hormone. This is why people who start to go to gym, it's really hard for them to stop doing it because you just feel like so fulfilled when you're doing sports that you can't stop it. And you don't want it to happen only while you're following a particular diet. You want to feel happy all the time. Determine your goals. It is so much easier to follow a diet or live a healthy lifestyle if your mind is set to reach the goal. It will be like seeing a reward or prize at the end of the road. And also, instead of setting a goal of losing 100 pounds, set some smaller goals. Let's say um, reward yourself by losing 20 pounds. That will keep you happy more often, if that makes sense. Give yourself an opportunity to be rewarded more often. And during your journey as such. Before you start a diet, do your preparation. Get ready mentally, look at other people's success and keep looking at it throughout your journey because that will keep you motivated. And as I said before, do not forget to consult your dietitian or doctor because you need to be sure that the particular chosen diet is the right for you. Set your mind to best and worth. Be ready for ups and downs. Don't forget, you might come across the periods where your weight loss stops for a while and just put that in your mind. Get ready and do not get discouraged by that. And most important, don't give up. You can do this. Talking about starting diet, try to start it on Monday. Of course, you can start it any other day, but for some reason, Mondays are playing mind games with us. It gives us the feeling of new beginning, of new power if new energy it's like the fresh start effect you feel like a new person beginning to change your life and don't forget slow but steady weight loss is the best for you and your body slower weight loss will protect your body from unnecessary stress i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe press the like button and notification button the little bell so you wouldn't miss out on more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Monday on my weight loss update video. Bye guys!